As we know, every year it is so important to address both sides of the line. Both the offensive and defensive trenches are so important to address and you need to have stars on both sides. This year, the interior defensive line class is one of the most stacked classes in recent memory. We touched on Jerzon Newton last week, and this week we are going with another one of the defensive stars in the 2024 NFL Draft, Miami defensive tackle Leonard Taylor. A guy who I have been extremely high on since the summer, we are going to touch on why I think he's one of the best players in the entire class. But hey guys, if you guys are new to the channel, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you are new, and leave a comment. We are getting so so close to 1000 subscribers, and I would love to hit that mark before the end of the month. So if you haven't already, consider hitting that subscribe button. But without further ado, let's get into it. Leonard Taylor really jumped on the scene in 2022 after an incredible season for the Hurricanes. He had 24 tackles, 10.5 tackles for loss, and 3 sacks on the year, which for an interior defensive lineman is very good. However, so far in 2023, his production has dropped significantly. He only has 4 tackles, 1 tackle for loss, and 1 sack on the year so far, which is far from ideal. Taylor so far feels like he is playing out of position for the Hurricanes defense. They are playing him as more of a space eater and almost like a nose tackle this year in South Beach. But Leonard Taylor is so much more than just a space eater as you guys will get to see in this video. He has a lot of tools and athleticism that you love to see and you guys will see why I think he is super talented. The first thing that will jump off to you is Taylor's size and athleticism. Standing at 6'3", 305 pounds. Leonard Taylor is exactly the player profile you look for in a star interior defensive lineman. Not only that, he is extremely athletic and has long arms. He has a very quick first step off the line of scrimmage and he uses his long arms to help him gain leverage and he has immense upper body strength and is able to push back and ward off defenders pretty easily making life a lot more difficult for the quarterback using just his arms. Taylor is a very good pass rusher. In 2022, Taylor had 25 pressures on the season, which was phenomenal, and he was second in pressure rate, trailing only Pitt defensive tackle Kalijah Kansi, as he racked up a 19.5% pressure rate, which is absolutely absurd. He knows how to get to the quarterback. He has tremendous strength, size, and athleticism, and he's able to will his way to the quarterback. On top of that, he has a swim move that is virtually unstoppable, and he really showed his ability to move on the quarterback. He also is a good run defender, which is where Miami has been using him most in 2023. Not only is he great at filling spaces and filling the run lanes, but he shows some nice track down speed as well. He's a good runner in the open field. He really has a nice bag of pass rush and run defending, which should make him a very sought after asset coming into the NFL Draft. However, there are some areas with Taylor's game that I worry about. For one, it's his motor. There were some plays last year, and plays this year as well, where he just seems to take the play off, and he doesn't keep his foot on the pedal. I want to see him play with more urgency and more tempo and not give up on plays too early or take plays off. Outside of his swim move, Taylor doesn't really have a ton of moves to get to the quarterback. This isn't a major issue for defensive tackles, but he seemed to rely too much on his athleticism and strength, and he often would be met with resistance. He struggled to shed off blockers from time to time, and this is an area I really want to see him improve on coming into the draft. Lastly, I want to see Taylor play with a bit more balance. He seems to fall over or be pushed to the ground pretty often, and that is not something you want to see from a potential first round pick, so I'm going to be monitoring his progress in that area. Leonard Taylor is a super fun player, and coming into the season, he was my number one interior defensive lineman in the entire class. But after seeing how he has been used and the lack of production so far, and the emergence of Jerzon Newton, I have Leonard Taylor as my number two defensive tackle in the 2024 draft, and he is my number 12 overall player in the entire class. Taylor would be best used as an interior defensive tackle in a 4-3. This will allow him to get more one-on-one -on -one opportunities where I trust him to be able to make a play. I think he will be used as much more than a space eater in this scheme. He isn't a nose tackle, he is a pass rusher, and he's going to be used in that role very well in a 
when watching Taylor, the first player that came to mind for me was San Francisco 49ers defensive tackle Javon Hargrave. They both are solid run defenders, but stellar pass rushers. Javon Hargrave racked up double-digit sacks last season, and they're very good in one-on-one -on -one matchups. They're both fantastic fits for that 4-3 defense. I think Leonard Taylor has the upside of Javon Hargrave, so that's my player comp for Leonard Taylor. Leonard Taylor is an interesting story. He doesn't feel like he's being used right by Miami this season. But after what we saw last year, and I expect him to test incredibly well at the NFL Draft Combine because of his incredible athletic profile, I think Leonard Taylor will be a first-round pick in the 2024 NFL Draft.